Hey guys. So I'm gonna work with a Payne's Gray base again tonight. I absolutely love it. Um, the medium I'm using is uh, not flow trawl. So I wanted to test a different medium out with this style. And I'm actually using, and let me move that out of the way before I trip over it. Um, Golden's Color Pouring Medium Gloss. So, uh, I'm gonna work with that. And I mixed the new paint with it as well. Um, my ratio could be off, we'll find out, who knows. Um, I've only worked with this one other time. I had to delay, so delay the pour because I went to get my tweezers to pull a little hair out of the paint, a little tiny piece probably from my sweater, and I couldn't find those tweezers that I usually use. Um, and I had recalled leaving them on the mat before I had cleaned up after my last pour, so we had to pull all the pedal pads out of the trash and go through them and we found them. Anywho, those aren't important. So we have the, the Payne's Gray and on the directions it says 10 parts pouring medium to one part of the paint. Um, so we'll see how that does. This is some leftover white um, that I had mixed. It's got the house paint, the folk art, in it um, and that's that mix and then I have a new metallic to use also I wanted to see if it creates cells um, we all know that cells can be created with Floetrol and a person commented underneath one of my pores that um, that that's true and yes that is true I've I know that, but I had asked whether or not they they had ever seen the deco art metallics and how they sell automatically, and I was told that's not possible. And um, which you know, it I guess it's just dependent. I guess what you use for products or something. So I decided because everything was focused around the flow trawl bit, I had some of this arrive today and I figured I'd give it a try. Maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't, who knows. It's gonna be fun anyways because we are gonna play. So, I poured over another canvas. That's why the sides are a bit messy and those will be cleaned up in time. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna start with, what was I doing? Yeah, so I'm only using the gold and then I also mixed up a little bit of the interference gold by Golden. I don't know much about these paints. Um, so to, just to have fun and test it out on some stuff and see if there's any difference. I guess from what I've read, most of it shows up once the painting is dry. So we're gonna start off with a puddle pour. And we're gonna do blue. This is also the Payne's Gray. like a bullseye puddle pour well it's just a puddle pour there's no special name for it but it looks like a bullseye I don't want to waste any of this medium it's so expensive
the interference. I think that's all we'll use of that. top it off with a little bit of blue. <clears throat> okay, so one more short. Get a little extra air bubbles. Oh, I like that swipe. It's okay, a little flicked off, that's fine. So I do have a little more of the blue in here. I'm gonna fill this in before I stretch a little, I think, yeah. So the other thing with this golden medium is it's uh, quite sticky. Just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to bring it all the way down to that corner. Really looked cool in the beginning, but I wanted to stretch it out a little. There are some cells happening in here. So we're gonna give it a torch in a second. that is let's get it out of there while we can all right so it, it's it's possible obviously to to get some cells as we can see um, they're all in here they're up in here and onward just gonna take this off right here because that doesn't make any sense to be there. You know what, plastic tubing. It's so pretty. Um, so, let's see here.
of those it's really sticky stuff huh so what I'm gonna do here is just clean up the edges and uh, then I'll uh, bring you guys back in I'll be back okay so let's bring you guys in I just cleaned up some of the edges this is uh, the final piece. I was just checking to see if I had press played. So um, as you can see there are some cells going on here. Nothing too dramatic. Definitely um, she was right um, in some sense. Uh, obviously the flow troll definitely helps with cells but it's clear that they can also make cells without flow troll. Just definitely not an overabundance of it. Um, so I, I love how this paint is separating out. It brings some texture to the canvas. And I love this little swirl as I flicked it off the canvas. Um, normally I don't do that, but I don't know. It was an oddly shaped canvas and couldn't really do a huge flick on it like I like to do. So I had to sort of get a little crazy with it. but. I think this is so pretty. It looks so cool. I love it. And the gold is going to look amazing on it. See all the gold right there. So when it's dry, it's going to have that sparkle. And then on top of it all, this will dry um, glossy. Uh, with a gloss finish because of the medium but I uh, just wanted to show you guys the final piece I have no idea if it's all in frame maybe I need to go that way but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and uh, watching me experiment with this paint a little more um, Sure, I could definitely use some Floetrol to recreate some of those cells again, but this is a cute little gathering of them right here. Which way should I go? Eh, the lights. My overhead lighting in my kitchen. It is what it is. All right, folks. Well, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night.